Tupac Shakur's murderer was arrested. For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis, a.k.a. Keefe D, for the murder of Tupac Shakur. Nearly three decades after his death, police arrested the man responsible for taking the life of one of the most famous rappers in history. Dwayne Davis was the shot caller for this group of individuals that committed this crime, and he orchestrated the plan that was carried out to commit this crime. Dwayne Davis, better known as Keith D, was always in the police's sight, and he even confessed to having been involved some years ago. However, there was not enough evidence to bring him to trial, which made him believe he was untouchable. You know, you've heard the, you've heard the phrase before, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. And we couldn't use his incriminating, his self-incriminating confession back in 2009, but because of that, he had this, he had this false um, perception that he had immunity. And so he began to go out and boast publicly about his role in the murder. For 30 years, he managed to slip through the cracks of justice, but today, he must pay for his crime, and it's all thanks to his own confession. Who's Tupac? They keep it for the cold of the streets. It just came from the back seat, bro. Tupac was working hand in hand with Such Knight and Death Row Records, who had known conflicts with the South LA Mafia. Tupac Shakur was an artist who was signed with Death Row Records. And that Death Row Records and its CEO, Marion Suge Knight, were closely affiliated with the Mob Piru criminal street gangs, and that they had an ongoing feud with the South Side Compton Crips. Dwayne Davis was the leader and shot caller of the South Side Compton Crips. One of the main police theories about Tupac's murder was that it all started with a fight in a Las Vegas hotel casino. So we came up uh, armed and uh, shit, here he coming at BMW. All the chicks was like, Tupac, Tupac, and he was like, hey, like a celebrity, like he was in a parade. He wouldn't even been out the window. We would have never seen him. The conflict moved to the streets, and at a red light, Shakur was shot four times by a car with four men in it. I'm you. When we pulled up, I was in the front seat. Happened to see my friend, chill. Who shot Tupac? I'm gonna keep it for the cold of the streets. It just came from the back seat, bro. Three of those men are no longer alive. Keefe D and his entourage get into a white Cadillac. Along with Keefe D, the driver is a guy named Terrence Brown. They call him a bubble up. Behind the driver is DeAndre Smith. He's in the left rear passenger seat. And Keefe D's nephew, Orlando Anderson, he's sitting behind the uh, right front passenger seat. All south side crips. Such Knight, who was in the car with Tupac, is serving a long prison sentence. So the only person who could tell what really happened was Keefe D. And on more than one occasion, he did. And so he began to go out and boast publicly about his role in the murder. And that that's not protected. That can all be used against him. So in essence, he talked himself right into jail. The thing is, among gangsters and mobsters, they commit crimes that feed their egos. And when Dwayne learned that there were others getting credit for Tupac's death, he didn't resist. But if you understand the ego of PPD, he resented that somebody else was telling the story other than him. And so that whole thing prompted him to then go out and publicly boast um, about his involvement. His early confessions, coupled with his later public statements, gave the police what they needed to search him and ultimately arrest him. The evidence was irrefutable, and Davis even published a book in which he admitted to have been part of the group that shot Tupac. One of my guys from the back seat grabbed the Glock and started in back. Now in the hands of the law, the police officially declared Dwayne Davis as the main culprit for the rapper's death, and they were finally able to get what they needed and close the case. 
Dwayne Davis began to devise a plan to obtain a firearm and retaliate for what occurred inside the hotel. At 60 years of age, Keith D. waits in prison to stand trial. And no matter how much time has passed, Tupac Shakur's family and fans are anxious to know what the sentence will be for the man who ended the life of a legend.